All right, what's up everyone? Um, so this is embarrassing, but this is the third time I've recorded this video. The first two times I didn't have my mic totally in, so this is the third time I'm doing this. Sorry if I'm a little tired, but you know, it's, it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. Um, so today I actually had some time, so I was playing around with my CV, and I'm actually gonna make some changes here. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do it real time, but I wanna explain how you can do your own custom formatted document in LaTeX. Um, because, you know, most of the stuff I've shown you is like how to do basic commands and stuff. But what when what about when you want to make your own custom formatted document? And a CV or resume is one of the things you'll often want to, you know, have like this. Because when you write papers, you, you know, it's going to be pretty bland. But sometimes you want to have a little spice in your CV or something. Um, so if you look at mine, uh, here's the, the final result. Uh, you'll notice that I separate everything into sections. And these sections have different entries in them. Um, so each entry, you'll notice, has like a date on the left side. And then it has, you know, what the actual accomplishment is and then, uh, you know, some details about it underneath. Um, so that's the general way I organize this. And in LaTeX, this is not just easy to do, but it's, um, you know, easy to change if I want to. So let me show you how, you, how I actually do this. Um, so first off, some basic stuff. Uh, if you're, uh, let me got to check and see if it's recording this time. Um, now, some very basic stuff, just in case you don't know this. Um, LaTeX has this command called new command, which lets you do pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Uh, new command takes uh, two necessary arguments. One is, the first one is what you want your new command to be. Uh, and second is what you want to do when you run that command or whatever. Uh, so what this is here is two things I write over and over again in my CV is University of Georgia and University of Arizona, uh, just because I worked uh, and studied both in both places. Um, so instead of having to write out University of Georgia and University of Arizona, um, the new command command uh, let has let me bind each one of them to an abbreviation. So whenever I type in slash UGA, it automatically types up the University of Georgia. Um, so if you look at my source code, um, let's scroll down to an example of this, you'll see that I have numerous examples, all the times I have UGA, right? It's just me being lazy and um, running this command. So this actually saves me a lot of effort, not just in writing it, but also, you know, it saves space in the code. Uh, and the other nice thing about it is, let's say I want to make some changes to this. Let's say I want to, um, you know, for brevity's sake, for some other reason, or for, you know, size or something. Uh, University of Georgia is too much, and let's say I just want to abbreviate it. So let's say I want to say U of Georgia, right? So you'll notice that all of the examples of this, of course, are immediately changing because it is, you, you are effectively defining a function and redefining it here. Um, so that's one of the, thing, the things that's really nice about this. Um, but of course, you don't just have to do this with text. In fact, what I've done for all of these entries here is that I've done, I've used the new command command to not, you know, produce text by itself, but entire formatting. Uh, and that's what I ha actually have up here. Let me uh, show you that. Uh, so this here is actually a new command command. Um, and instead of, you know, UGA or UA, um, I create the command entry. Uh, after that, in brackets, you put harm, how many arguments you want it to have. And then in the brackets here, this is the equivalent of the stuff down here, right? Um, I just feed it exactly what I want it to do. So what I want, so, you know, again, look at these entries. I have years uh, in small caps and then on one side. And on the other side, I have, you know, the entry with all the details. And literally what I do for this command is, first off, we have two spaces. So that, or excuse me, returns. So that means a new line in LaTeX. Uh, then I begin a mini page. So mini page, if you don't know, um, if you saw my last video, it's like columns in Beamer. Uh, what these two things are, these like that are divided by this divider, are two little mini pages. This one is, um, as you can see here, 15% of the text width. Uh, and the one on the right is 80% of the text width. So that's all this is. I've just divided it into two logical pages. And in the first logical page, I just have um, hfill is here to push everything to the right. Uh, and then I have text uh, sc, which just means small caps. Um, so, and then I put number one. And this is what LaTeX reads as the first argument. Um, so if you look at the source code, 
uh, what these entries actually look like, all I do is say slash entry, and then I feed each one of them the four arguments. And the first one goes on this side, you know, uh, in the small caps. Oops. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> after that, I end that uh, mini page. Uh, this line here is just to get the uh, vertical line here. Um, and then I start a new mini page. Uh, again, 80%. Put in the second argument, which is the the actual oh, down here, which is the actual accomplishment or whatever. Uh, two more returns, and then I put the two more returns. Of course, is to get a new line. Um, then our third argument, two more returns, and thus a new line. And then I put the fourth argument in footnote size, so it's nice and small. Um, and in this situation, let's say um, if I don't have a fourth argument, then there's just nothing on this line, so LaTeX actually just doesn't read it. Same thing here. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, anyway, basically what I do here is um, all of this formatting that I want very specifically for my document, uh, I don't have to reproduce it at all. I just feed it into the entry command and I don't have to worry about it. I only write it out once and I let this sort of function macro take care of the rest. Um, and the other nice thing about this, uh, sort of like any other kind of LaTeX command, is that if I want to change the formatting to this, um, I can very easily just go in and change this command. So let's say I don't want uh, all these things to be italicized. Let's say I want them to be um, you know, underlined or something like that. Well, I can just change it to underline, and it's going to change in all of the entries I use it. Um, so that way, you can just basically write your, uh, your resume in this abstract way, and then you can make formatting changes to everything at once, and you don't have to worry about it. Um, so anyway, this has been, you know, sort of a an introduction to formatting things the way you want. So I encourage you to play around. I'm going to put the source code to my resume in the uh, video description, and you can toy around with it and get the kind of setup you want. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Uh, see you guys next time.